about. Now is the time, and here is the place. It is time, time to start thinking about the election. I do recognize my value in the future. Jennifer Kosser is getting ready for the election, even though she admits there's a ways to go. Unfortunately, I just don't have the time to be well informed. I know that's so silly, but I work two jobs. I'm a full-time student. Well, perhaps it's not all that surprising, but Jennifer is really a poster child of how many students feel about the upcoming election. Young people we spoke with say they feel it's important to vote, but... I think that it would probably make a pretty big impact if they focus, if, if somebody were to give more attention to our age group. And so apathy drives kids to, well, do nothing. Are you registered to vote at your current address? And that's where these people come into play. Getting students to pay attention is the job of Ryan Beely and the volunteers of the New Voters Project, a nonpartisan group whose aim is to increase the number of registered voters at CU. It's really just a push to get people out there, get people civically engaged. Our goal for the project on CU campus is 4,000 people. So far we've registered over 1,000. Um, and then here in the next week or so, we're going to be pushing for the extra 3,000. The goal of Project Vote Smart is to increase the number of young people who turn out and vote in an election year. And they've made quite a lot of progress. In the year 2000, 36.1% of young people voted, but in 2004, that number increased to 47 percent. Project Vote Smart attributes the increase to the fact that they had massive voter registration campaigns at universities all over the country. For example, before 2004, only about 50 percent of young people were even registered to vote. Now that number is close to 90 percent. We have important things coming up in this election cycle. Important decisions about the economy, environments, and the price of education. That's one of the issues we're talking about. Groups like New Era Colorado are encouraging students to care about these issues. If, it, if you believe that not voting is an option, you're wrong. Not For Beely and others, getting students to vote fulfills the need to feel involved in the process. But other students want to go farther by taking sides. And that leads us to August Ritter. The son of Democratic gubernatorial candidate Bill Ritter, August is taking time away from his studies at CSU to campaign for his father. A year ago, I almost didn't vote because I had an intramural football game that I wanted to go to instead. My dad actually had to call me up and yell at me to vote. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I am, or I was, that apathetic college student that, you know, figured out how does this relate to me, why, you know, why is it important for me to vote, why does one vote matter? Um, but now going through this whole process and seeing that, you know, if anyone should be voting, it should be us. For August, getting involved means traveling to universities and speaking with students. For Jessica Langfeld, that means traveling to campaign headquarters and speaking with adults. In the back rooms of the Beaupre O'Donnell campaign headquarters, college Republicans call. Hi, can you hear me? Langfeld helped organize this call drive. Voting is extremely, extremely important. Um, it's getting your opinion and your belief out there. But I think beyond just getting registered, once you do, you need to get educated about it. There's so many referendums um, and there's so many candidates out there that blindly filling in a ballot is just not what either, either party is ex wants or, or promotes at all. From the call centers to the Northern Quad, these students are getting involved in this year's election. And they want to know, are you? Well, we'll be out here all day. Thomas Hendrick, News Team Boulder.